With today being Monday, Meal Tips Monday, <clears throat> I wanted to kind of reiterate a couple of the things that I've been saying. How many of you struggle with not being able to lose weight or eating too much and then having to unbutton your pants or feeling instant regret that you ate too much? So here's some couple of things that are super simple that I'm going to share with you. Now, if you're watching this, send a little wave or a thumbs up live. If this is a replay, then do me a favor and hit hashtag replay, please. So, in also drop in the comments your name and where you're watching this from. And if you could tell me what, what was the weather for you guys today. Today it's July 11th, 7-11, and uh, we had an 88 degree day here in Michigan so um, it was actually a pretty nice day I went for a couple walks and uh, so anyways my name is Melissa Murray for anybody who doesn't know me and what I have been attempting to share with all of you are tips on health wealth and wellness so I'm gonna give you a couple tips today and one in which that's so simple is to be a part of the small plate club. So those little dinner plates, you know, throughout history, our dinner plates have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, bigger plates equal more room for more calories. So what you're going to want to do is try to be a part of a small Challenge yourself. Use a small plate as much as you can. I mean, how many of us are part of the clean plate club that our parents raised us to feel guilty if we didn't finish our plate? But what that does is it teaches us unhealthy eating habits. If we are not hungry, we should stop eating. So to help with that is a smaller plate. It'll help you feel more satiated, so you feel satisfied that you finished your plate. It will help you save money because you have uh, bought less food to have to buy, cooked less food, or even had more overflow on being able to have leftovers. And it also helps you um, perhaps lose or maintain weight. So the second tip is, well, one thing I want, the second tip is to think of what goes on your plate. So half of your plate needs to be vegetables. And I'll tell you about the portions in a second. And the other half needs to be shared by your protein and your starches. Your vegetables are the non-starchy vegetables. And so the tip that I posted today actually was to weigh and measure your food without weighing and measuring your food. So a way to do that is to use your body part. So tell me if all of this so far that I've been saying is totally making sense to you. If anything that I just said makes sense, please drop a comment below and, and let me know. So use your body part. You want to use the palm of your hand, which is three to four ounces for your protein. Your fish, your chicken, your poultry, and your beef, whatever it is, three to four ounces. You do not want to exceed that. So the little corner I told you about with your protein, that's where you're gonna measure the size for that. Your fist, is considered one cup. That will be your vegetables, your non-starchy vegetables. So then it'll be the front of your fist is considered half of a cup, and that's your starches, your potatoes, your rice, your pasta. Then you can use your thumb. The knuckle to the tip is considered one tablespoon. The whole thumb is about two tablespoons, and that's your condiments. Most condiments are about two tablespoons. And then you may use from your knuckle to the tip, the first knuckle to your tip is considered one teaspoon. So these are ways to measure your food without measuring your food. And lastly, the cup of your hand is considered one ounce for your snacks. That would be your chips, your nuts, whatever it is that you're snacking on, one ounce is the cup of your hand. So that's the way you can measure your food without measuring your food. 
And like I said, you on tip number two is that you take half of your plate with your non-starchy vegetables. You take one the other half shared between your protein and your starches. And as I said in tip one, you if you can use a small plate, use a small plate. If you use a small plate, you'll notice that you probably don't have room for all three. So I would suggest that you recommend, I recommend losing the starch, your potato, rice. You can live off no potatoes and rice, even if it's yummy. But if you do choose to have a large plate and you proportion it with the half veggies and shared quarters of your protein and starch, then you will want to make sure that none of your food touches. So you practice everything that I just said on your portions and um, hopefully that can help you maybe lose some weight or maintain some weight, whatever your goal is. So if this is valuable to you, put a comment below so that I understand what people find as valuable so I can put more content out to help others. So as I'd mentioned, um, my name is Melissa Murray and what my goal here is to help give people training and advice and wisdom on their health, their wealth, and their wellness. So there's going to be so many other um, topics throughout the week, week after week. So whatever's valuable to you, please drop a comment and let me know. And uh, do me a favor and hit the notifications so that anytime I go live, you, you don't miss it. And follow me if you aren't already so you don't miss any of the valuable tips that I'm about to start sharing with you from here on out. All right, have a good night, everybody.